Oh, let's talk about some cool stuff too. So next, this is uh, this is I wouldn't say I don't know how cool this is. <laughs> some people might think it's cool. These are police robots. All right, I found this interesting article about uh, eleven police robots that are out patrolling the world. Okay, it, you know it's got this. I, I'm just gonna skip to them. All right, so right now we got Cleveland's PD Griffin. Okay, and that's a it. It just kind of looks like a little Mars rover, a little mini rover. Within the Republic, Republican National Convention underway, Cleveland police have enlisted the help of a new robot named Griffin. Built by students from a local community college, standing only 12 inches tall. That's not very, that's, that's, that's way smaller than it looks right there, actually. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this six-wheeled rover is designed to go places police can't, police can't fit, like under a car or behind dumpsters to look mm. for explosives. Griffin is equipped with a camera and a light, which allows police to scope out the situation from a monitor uh, at a safe distance. Unlike the large Bob Squad and military-grade robots, like the one police strapped an explosive to in Dallas, Griffin is light enough to be deployed quickly without needing to be hauled out in a big truck. And it's one of many robots Ohio police have on hand. Public records requests show Ohio law enforcement have received 40 robots from the federal uh, 1033 program that transfers military equipment to local law enforcement. Interesting. All right, now this next one, check this one out. India's riot control drones. Look at this, this is a picture of it. It's an octo, no, is it octo? Yeah, eight, eight octocopter. Police in the Uttar Pradesh region of India last year purchased a set of skunk drones built to shower crowds with pepper spray wow. and paintballs. Look at this, it's got like a, fi a four barrel a gun system at the bottom Whoa. it shoots paintballs and stuff this is probably like a i don't know some sort of like a, a tray a hopper you know for the balls or whatnot if they can shoot paintballs they could shoot bullets i would imagine at least well, it's not that far off true i feel the the recoil on a bullet right. versus paintball because paintball will just be like a burst of air instead it's of like an explosion fired, right. explosion pulling back but there there is a robot actually that can that can shoot bullets and we're, we're gonna get to that um, but that, I'm just going to keep moving because this I just want to go through them all. This is South Korea's prison robo guard. Uh, correctional officers as Pohang prison in South Korea have a robot to help keen, uh, keep watch uh, for them. During a trial in 2012, standing five feet tall, the robo guard is equipped with 3D cameras and software to recognize inmate behavior. It's, uh, it's able to report when someone seems abnormal. Like if there's a fight or an inmate on the floor, it's interesting, man. Dude. This now check us out. This one's this is the one with the gun. Israel's deadly rover. This 26 pound, 11 inch tall robot is packing a nine millimeter Glock pistol, designed by Israeli firm General Robotics Ltd. With help from the Israeli Police Counterterrorism Unit, the Doggo. That's such a shame. It's named something so cool, the Doggo. Um, or the dogo maybe can fire up to five rounds in two seconds. That's scary, dude. Can you imagine that a ro little robot coming around the corner? I've been imagining it for this, like this tall eleven four years since I saw that. What was that? Did you see that that weird like movie about the drones that took over the skies and people had to hide inside and it was like oops, the, the Matrix. No, it was like a, it was like a short <laughs> ten minute video and it was made to seem real but it mm. was like a fictitious movie about the danger of drones no and, i haven't seen that and it was like this guy was like we're gonna have drone delivery everything's gonna be coming right to your door everything's yeah. great we got drones and then the drones go haywire and they start terrorizing humanity Yikes. and humanity is basically running for their life from building to building and stuck inside all the time i mean that certainly sounds like a preamble to the and, matrix and then they were like be careful about the danger of drones it seems that they they didn't or now i mean yeah. maybe it was inevitable yeah you know, the, the war of the robots is that yeah, but I mean, we're well, currently we are still in control of these guys. Yeah. This is the LAPD's huge smasher, the Batcat, shorthand for Bob, a bomb assault tactical control assessment tool, is the Los Angeles Police Department's radio controlled monster designed to pick up a car bomb with its massive 50 foot telescoping arm. This unmanned ground vehicle reaches top speed at six miles per hour, which might have been designed to remove massive explosives. The Bat. Uh, the bat cat can also rip through a house in minutes. Wow. Jeez, that's nuts. That's that's frightening. Reminds me of iRobot. Have you seen iRobot? No. Uh, it's a Will Smith movie. Yeah, I've seen all of it. I know it's, of it. It's a, it's pretty good. You should watch it. It's mm -hmm. it's it's a cool robot movie. I saw a few scenes in it. I like them. It's really cool. Well, there's this scene where he's like, 
going to investigate this dude's house who was murdered. I'm not ruining anything for you, but um, he's in the house and he, he falls asleep because the, the dude's cat's there and he's like, oh, the cat. And he's like sitting on the on the on like a couch and he just kind of like passes out chilling with the cat. And uh, he wakes up to this house robot that just decimates the house and he's like trying to escape and he, he escapes. Um, but the house gets just torn down in like minutes. The wow. entire house just gets wrecked. I like, got. I like that we can build robots that can like rip people out of burning cars in a split second. But yeah, the weaponization is makes me neurotic. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, well, I mean, here's the Japanese, the Japan's drone catching drone. So there's a drone to counter drones. Of course, you got to yeah, have the, the counter counter drone. I got the the Brazil's Olympic peacekeepers. Let's see. Uh, this is this is obviously when the Olympics were um, going to be in Brazil. See, they're pulling all the stops, including calling on a number of model 510 pack bots that were originally acquired in preparation for the World Cup, a military grade bomb detection and reconnaissance robot that was used after Fukushima meltdown in Japan and was deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan. Each uh, pack bot weighs around 65 pounds. Wow, that's heavy. Carries four cameras as well as a main feature, a six foot telescoping arm that can lift a 30 pound payload. Uh, wow. Then we got the, this was, this is one I found really interesting. Let me zoom in a little bit. Can I zoom in a little bit? Yeah. Let me, I guess I can't, let me open this in a new tab so you can see this picture. Look at this thing. This is in the, in Congo and it is a, a giant, uh, what is it? Um, traffic cop. Let's see. Yeah. Powered robotic traffic cops in an effort to reduce deaths and get more people to follow traffic rules. Decked out in cool sunglasses, the massive humanoid robot stand at busy intersections as kind of an all-in-one traffic light crossover traffic camera. That's it's kind of this. This is the one that I'm like, all right, that's kind of cool. Like, come on, big, huge, giant. He's like, yeah. stop, go. It's like that's like right. a novelty. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. They go like... install laser beams <laughs> in its eyes to like fry cars that mm -hmm. drive out of out of the. All right, this one might freak you out a little bit. These next two. I'm just kidding. Poland's tactical bot. Look how tiny that thing is. He's holding it in his hand. Oh, the small ones are the ones that make me really afraid. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't think this has... Uh, yeah, it's just to scout scout around. It's got a microphone, camera, uh, ultralight. You, it's less than four pounds. You could throw it down. It's, it, throw it in and have it, like, go check out the scene. You know that's just what we know about. Right. Like, that's really the thing. Right. It's like, you this is the stuff... Attach a bomb. I mean, this is what we know. I would imagine the military is... Definitely yeah, using definitely tiny little flying get bots. it into the right spot. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah, exactly. And then here, check this one. This was a uh, border between South and North Korea. The demilitarized zone between South and North Korea is paradoxically one of the most militarized places in the world, including South Korea's fleet of semi-autonomous killing machines that patrol the border day and night. Whoa. Developed by Samsung, surprisingly, mm. uh, Samsung, the SRG A1 is armed with a 5.5 millimeter machine gun and grenade launcher that can detect targets two miles away with its sensitive heat and motion sensors, as well as low light cameras for patrolling at night. Multiple reports indicate that the SRG-1 has a fully autonomous function too. That is freaky, man. Because you know the military is trying to figure that out. We, I actually did a... Um, Oh, man, did I even do the segment? I think I, I did this on the Timcast show where we talked about how the military is hiring gamers, studying their minds, and having them play StarCraft 2. Mm. Because StarCraft 2 is about, um, you know, it's a real time strategy game for those who don't know. It's, and it, you control multiple robots in, in different f forms, but like groupings of them yeah. to do different stuff and they're r recording the way these gamers minds oh wow uh handle it turning it into an ai software oh to handle drones i wonder if they've now this was Cyril. this was years ago so you can imagine the stuff that they're working on now wow and then this one's actually kind of nice this is a life-saving robot for refugees in greece which is kind of like a just a, a coast guard boat with a, a robotic life preserver that's great. I, I like that. It's not really police. It's more of a saving lives mm -hmm. kind of thing. It's it's pretty good. 